Good day, good day to you all. Uh, welcome to Transcending Media. This is Meister Mosey, as usual. And uh, I think we're just going to get right into this right now because uh, I'm kind of hungry and I want to get something to eat. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of research trying to, you know, understand the history of Africa. For some time now and over the course of that time of course I get into so-called debates with people who have degrees in this and that and all the goody goodies that don't seem to understand that there is no such thing as sub-Sahara Africa that that exists only for political purposes and as you should know by now that politics is actually a f it's a f it cre it's a figment of imagination so to speak it's a it's a <coughs> it's an art of deceit you know because what people had before politics became the norm was leadership you know people created a set of rules which they followed and if they didn't want to follow they could simply leave and go find somewhere that was more accommodating but in this political world things are forced upon people and such thing is naming people and classifying people and you know feeling as though because you seem to have conquered people that you now have the right to decide who they are and what they are and where they're from and what part of their homeland is this part and that part that you decide you know which part is sub-sahara africa and which part is sahara africa right as if one has you know sway over nature to direct the expansion of the Sahara Desert or the cessation of the Sahara Desert. Who knows which way it's going to go at the end of the day. Not a single living soul. I can tell you that for sure. Because at one point, that Sahara Desert was lush and green. You know? I, I think I have some videos right here like this one right here displaying showing you know paintings in caves of so-called Sahara Africa you know that was not part of sub Sahara Africa right but anyway let's look at this map it says 46 countries 54 as sub Saharan excluding Algeria Djibouti Egyptos, Libya, Morocco, Pont, Nubia, and Tunisia. So, Tunisia, which was part of Libya at one point, actually, which, yeah, that region there. Uh, let's look at the west of the map very quickly. Oops, my dick like images, forgive us. So, yes, let's see here. This one looks interesting, actually, it does cordon it off. So, yeah, it shows that this part here is sub Saharan African map, right? Uh, let's click and see the source. It's from Pinterest. Interesting. Well, interesting enough. Let's. I don't know how people feel about these official sources. It shouldn't really matter how official or unofficial something is. It's just the notion that plays on, you know, them in the minds of people. So let's see. Oh, this one's from a college. Okay. So yeah, sub-Saharan African map. So I'm assuming that this shaded area here 
is you know the Saharan desert ish you know and this is the Arabian des desert it's clear clearly which is kind of you know inches south of the Sahara as well so I don't know I don't know what part of the world that is you know is it sub Asia Minor sub Sahara well, yeah I don't know like I said this shit is a figment of someone's imagination and it was not vivid enough to make sure things are, are as close to reality as possible so let's continue looking here uh, regions of the Sahara L Nubia which is lower Nubia it's funny how they ensure to say lower Nubia which is what Egypt was it was lower Nubia known as also known as Kemet so let's see so we have northern Africa which is mostly the Saharan desert right so we have Algeria Egypt, so, and again, yeah, Sudan. But when we look here again, oh, where is this map? Yes, yeah, so yeah, like this one is the Sahara, right? And then when we look somewhere here, we can see that. not very clear all right so this map looks very interesting it's from oh but yeah this is a map of some form of alternative history of Africa whatever which I like so we'll stick to it so this region here is the Sahara, right? And then the rest of this is a uh, sub-Sahara. But as you can see, all these regions here, such as Chad and Egypt, sink through into the Sahara, right? As unofficial as this map is, right? Egypt is inching ever into the Sahara. Chad is inched ever into the Sahara. This part of the Sahara is known as the West African Federation. You see? Ooh, but that's not that's not the real map. That's not the real map. We, we, okay, so so what makes this one the real map? What, what, what makes this one the real map? Oh, I guess I should not avoid that one. What makes this one the real map? Hmm. That other one was in the real map, huh? But this, but this one is, right? Because it was drawn by imperialist Europeans, huh? Who were at a conference in, I don't know what, 1884 and decided that, yeah, I'm going to take this patch, this patch, this patch, blah, 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 blah. And this is actually using what they agreed on at the time. This is later, after independence. So-called independence. So, to reiterate this fact, if it's not sunk in, is there is no such thing as Sub-Sahara Africa. This is all Africa. All of it. Every single piece of it. If you understood African tradition and African culture, you'd know that there are nomadic tribes from Algeria, Mali, Morocco, Libya, Chad, Niger, who still traverse these these regions, going all the way to Sudan and Ethiopia, nomadic peoples, who you know, who know where to go to look for water, in a fucking desert, right? Right? How would you survive in a desert? How can you have a nomadic desert life? Yeah, if if you know where the fucking water is. Oh man, can cut that out. But anyway, so yeah, like 
and then when you when you look at this, let's look at the Caucasus map, which has a genuine barrier, like and and, and even let's see what the, it says. The Caucasus is a region located at the border of Europe and Asia, situated between the Black and Caspian Sea. It is home to the Caucasus Mountains, which contains Europe's highest mountain and a whole bunch of ranges of mountains that supposedly separate Europe and Asia, right? Right? But then when you look at the Eurasian map, right? It's right here. This part of Eurasia is inching over, has inched over this so-called barrier that separates Europe from, you know, Asia. Yeah, the, these figmental, like, it's just... And look at this other one. Look at this other one right here. This this is another one. Europe, Asia, but it's all Eurasia, right? And then this is Asia Minor, but Asia Minor kind of inches over the border, where the Caucasus Mountains separate Europe and Asia. So how can this? Shouldn't be this be Europe Minor? This should be Europe. Uh, this should be sub Europe, actually. This should be sub Europe. And then Europe should be just sub Eurasia, right? With the logic that people try to apply to Africa and sub Sahara Africa. This is sub Europe, right? And then Europe is sub Asia or sub Eurasia, whichever one you pick. <laughs> but it's a sub over sub. You know, because it's, it's, even that's part of, the, if even you want to bring up the size, the notion that, oh yes, it's the Sahara. Yeah, the Sahara is not as large as it's as large as the united states but the rest of africa sub-sahara africa apparently is bigger than the sahara the rest of asia is bigger than europe so that would make europe sub what sub asia right yeah, okay and then this little part here that they want to associate with asia okay cool let them keep asia but then this other it could be sub europe <laughs> like no no that logic cannot function and the fact that it does function tells you how stupid people are that they don't look at these so-called maps that have been created you know they don't go they don't go to think they don't go to google earth you know you, this app google earth you just look it up yourself you know just look it up yourself buddy Zoom in, let's make this north facing. I don't know how the fuck this shit works. You know? Look at it, look at it right here, man. It's right here. Look at sub. This is sub Asia. And then we have the Sahara Desert, which is which is ever is expanding. Nigeria is right here, which is Nigeria is sub Sahara. You sub Saharan you sub Saharan African from Nigeria. Blah 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 da, 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 da. Oh, you don't even realize that this this region of Niger was part of Nigeria. It's funny how they have the same name, you know, and one is masculine, the other is is feminine. Like, come on, like, just look. It's right here, showing you, right? It's, it's part of the same continent, you know. And again, like I said, this videos on this channel right here, showing you ancient African art in the Sahara at a time when it was just as green as the rest of the Sahara of and, and, and this is how is this sub sub Sahara Africa like this oh my oh, what like oh my it's too funny it, it's hilarious it's hilarious and there's a desert right here forming you know from the Arabian Peninsula it's coming into northeastern Africa the, or you know the horn of Africa you know and then funny Gulf of Aden sounds like Eden doesn't it right wonder where the Garden of Eden is but anyway that's, that's for the topic for another discussion uh, but yeah it's 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 a joke it's a joke sub Europe, which side sub Europe, you know? Because they say it's 
the arguments the the they're they're not even arguments it's it's like talking to a child you know it's telling it's worse than talking to a child because a child once you tell them don't touch the fire if they've never touched fire or don't touch something hot if they've never touched something hot don't touch that don't touch that it's hot they will touch it anyway right and get burned but at least the next time you tell them that something is hot they will think twice about touching it you see these people here they think because they can type you know they can type on a smartphone or on a laptop or on a computer whatever that uh, <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke. So. So yeah, man. Like yeah, just list everything. Like this Google Earth image actually shows it does it justice because if you look at the World Bank, what it says about lists Chad, Sub-Saharan Africa, right? Nigeria, right? Niger, right? Sub-Saharan Africa. Sudan, South Sudan, Sub-Saharan Africa, Mali, Sub-Saharan Africa, you know, Mauritania, Sub-Saharan Africa, all right, right, but when you look, that's where all this, that's where all the Sahara is, Sahara, this is the Sahara, right, Sahara is, inch, it's getting into Burkina Faso, <laughs> getting, you know, getting into Guinea-Bissau, and the Gambia, you know, so it's already in Eritrea, you know, but that's Sub-Saharan Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, yeah, 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 jam that shit down your poop hole, shit, and eat it, all that nonsense, you, there's no Sub-Saharan Africa, and any African talking, saying Sub-Saharan Africa, and then using the classifications that Europeans have created to, to further divide them. Do that, your, do that at your own peril. Because right now, we're living at a time where reality is, is, is there. It's there for everyone to have a look into for themselves. Huh? Sub-Saharan Africa. This is Sub-Saharan Africa. Right? All right then, I guess we shall have a discussion as Africans to decide which side is sub-Europe or sub-Asia or whatever. We'll come up with the terminology very soon. All right, it's going to be my next, it's going to be my assignment. Uh, we're going to find a way to sub-compartmentalize the Eurasian continent, the so-called Eurasian continent. But anyway, that said, yeah. Yeah, you guys have a good one. You know? Oh, no, yeah, we have had these other maps here. Trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the hell? Where, where the hell? Where the hell is... Look, look at these. Get out of here, man. Anyway, you guys have a lovely one. It will be it was a pleasure sharing this little bit of common sense. Because that's all this is. It's nothing scholarly or academic about this. It's just common sense. Look at the map. What does it show? What are the words coming out of your mouth? Done. See you guys later.